Today we're building this system that you see sitting right here in front of me. Now many of you may recognize this as a router sled or a slab flattening device, but we've built in some pretty interesting features that I've not seen on any other slab flatteners. Before we jump into this, I want you guys to keep in mind this is a prototype. I wanted to build a smaller version of a larger build that I have in mind to test some ideas that I have for slab flatteners. For the next few minutes, we're going to show you how we built this. And then towards the end of the video, we're going to test it out and do some really cool things with it that I've never seen a slab flattener do before. And of course, we have more ideas, and that's all coming down the pipe right now. We used the table saw a lot for this project. We had to break down three sheets of plywood for it. And I love my table saw setup, the folding in feeds, the Harvey table saw is amazing. But the real hero here today is that prestige table saw blade. It is a prestige 40 tooth electric blue table saw blade. I have been using them for years and I just thought about this. That saw, that saw blade has been in my saw now for over four months. It has cut a lot of plywood, a lot of hardwood, a lot of everything, and it just keeps going strong. So I wanted to give it a little bit of love. They're amazing blades. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to check them out. Now, as the name implies, slab flattener, you want to keep your base as flat as possible. That way, when you're flattening slabs, everything comes out flat. I hope that makes sense. Now, my workbench is not flat. There's a big arch in the middle of it from weighing down over time. And the truth is, I'm a pretty bad carpenter, so I really haven't fixed it. What I did do is shim up the center of it so it was really close to flat and I built this whole thing in layers. So each layer can kind of fix anything that's not particularly flat for the layer before that. I don't know if that makes sense, but it works in my mind. So basically anytime my project isn't quite right, these different layers help me adjust that to get it quite right. And then the legs and the bracing that comes here in just a minute add to an effect that effectively kind of makes it a torsion box without really building a torsion box. Inevitably, any time I use my large folding infeed table on my table saw during a project in a video, somebody asks me about it or sends me emails. I've done a video about these a few months back and we have plans for them. I'll put links in the description box. This description box is getting filled up with links pretty fast. Sorry folks. The name of our shop is Maker's Playground and we call it that for a reason. It's a place where makers play. And when we have friends like Gary come over, uh, Gary's a very, very good friend of mine, has been for a long time, we put them to work if we're in the middle of a project. So. Gary, I'm very sorry for putting you to work. Thank you for coming and visiting. It was a lot of fun and we appreciate your help. Speaking of friends, I have some content creator friends who are the top of their game in the DIY world. Now they've done something really interesting for folks who are interested in getting into social media or upping their social media game. They've created a five week course called the Creator Course. I've had a look at this course and I really wish this course was around when I got started. It took me years to learn some of the things in this course and I still didn't know it all. I've been doing this for a decade and I still learned a few things. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's expensive but it's definitely worth it. If you're interested in investing in yourself in the social media world, I highly recommend that you check out what they have to offer. It's impressive. The creator course is only available for a few more days, but I'll put a link down in the description box for those of you who are interested to check it out. Now, if you want to make an extra thousand dollars a month working part time in social media, or if you're interested in going full time, there is no better way to get started or up your game than the content creator course that they've created. This metal I'm cutting is gonna act as an extra support for the table that goes on the face, the table that adjusts. Because there's an 80 inch span and it's only two and a half, three inches thick of plywood, it's not gonna be super stable. So the extra added steel helped it get keep nice and rigid across the platform when it's in a position that isn't completely vertical. And I gotta slide mine, we gotta kinda go the same. Okay, all right, Maggie. Why don't you come over and you find it? Yep, you're good, yeah. go ahead. Okay.
We installed the front face using just regular hardware and some bow knobs, which are, as most of you know, my absolute favorite knobs on the planet. Now, I wasn't real happy with the gantry. I kind of slapped that together and didn't really think out the design, so I took that apart and off-camera built a new one. But before I installed it, I cut some grooves into the face and the tabletop so we could use match fit hardware and other bow hardware to lock all of our projects in place. I'm hesitant to take on larger projects these days because I spend the vast majority of my days in wheelchairs and I wouldn't have been able to do this without Maggie and Gary, so thank you guys so much. And now, the fact that it just worked so well right out of the gate was just the icing on the cake. The trim and tram on this was almost perfect right out of the gate. It was a couple thousandths off, but we're not messing with that because you can sand that out in 10 seconds flat with some 80 grit sandpaper. All that means is that the router bit was very parallel with the work surface, so there wasn't any big humps or ridges to sand out. Now my idea with the front face or the front table was the ability to do some things like jointing without needing a joiner. So effectively, you could replace a planer and a joiner with this setup. Now granted, it takes up quite a bit of floor space, but all in, I think this project cost us about $250, maybe $280 to build. That includes the linear rails and bearings that we use for this project. Making the front adjustable so you can move it to different angles means we can do a lot of different cool things. And one of the basic things that we can do is create really severe chamfered edges on tabletops. Now we can get some really big long chamfered edges or we can do something like this which is just, you know, about a 60 degree angle. Now granted you could probably pull that off on a table saw with the exception of the fact that you can't chamfer a natural edge face so one that's got a lot of curves to it with this you can and it's just as easy as doing a straight edge Now right now that front edge or the router sled allows the router to come out with a 10 inch cutting capacity in front of the face. I'm going to adjust that so it can get a little bit bigger and we'll show you that in an upcoming video. But today I wanted to show you some of the basic things having that face could do. Like chamfered edges or tapering legs. So imagine tapering a 10 inch by 10 inch leg and having a really great finish that you don't need to spend 10 hours sanding. You could do that with this. And of course, there are lots of other things that could be done with this as well. Right now I'm using a Bosch with a slab flattening bit, and quite frankly that Bosch is a little underpowered for the bit that I'm using. So I'm going to drop a 3 horsepower or more router into this system and test some different slab flattening bits and I'll show you the results in an upcoming video. But right now I'm really curious what you are thinking about this system. Do you think it's a viable option for replacing a planer and a jointer in a small shop? What other things do you think I could pull off with this system? I'd really like to hear your feedback, so I'll be watching the comments section. <laughs>
I could not be happier with the way this is turning out. Now remember, like we said at the beginning, this is just a prototype and we've got a long way to go with it. We've got quite a few more fun things planned for this, but if you want to see that, you're going to have to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and come back next weekend when we have some really cool features that we're going to add to this and make it even more useful around the shop. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.